Hello friend, peptic arthritis in children is a true orthopedic emergency which requires urgent diagnosis, treatment and debridement when necessary. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon that we encounter a septic arthritis in a late presentation or in a sequelae where the child is already facing the disability and only the salvage measures are available. Here in this video, I will be describing how to examine septic arthritis in a neonate or infant so that we can diagnose it early and early management can be started. This video is not only helpful for all the orthopedician or pediatric orthopedicians, but for the general pediatrician, therapist, nurses, as well as all the healthcare professionals involved in the care of children. Thank you so much. So if we look at the modified caucus criteria, which is used for diagnosing septic hip arthritis, only limp or refusal to use limp will be our key factor in the case of neonatal sepsis or a patient admitted in an ICU with fever. So for examination, the child should be exposed, even the diaper should be removed to have a clear view. Look at the flexed posture of the lower limbs, right? So the infected site will be more flexed or in a fixed position. The, the less involved or the normal side will be actively moving. So I am noticing the active movement of legs. I am trying to stimulate the leg with my fingers by scratching on the, uh, the plantar aspect of the sole. Now, when I try to do attempted range of motion, we can see that child is wincing and crying and he is feeling pain on the left side. Now coming to hanging test, it is again to see the active movement of the legs. We can notice that child is hardly moving the left side. Now comes the stepping test. When we rub the shin of the leg against the edge of the table, child has a natural tendency of stepping over it and trying to stand on it although child will not be able to stand but he is trying to st step it but when we notice on the left side there is no stepping 